Welcome to another video, guys. I am the Empress. I'm happy to be here with you guys today. Let's talk about, um, let's talk about your moon, your moon sign. This is going to be for Libra, if you have a moon sign in Libra. You can apply this video. Libra moon. Libra moon. This should be interesting. If you have a Libra moon, you can utilize this. Okay, you can also go check out the Libra sun sign videos on my channel, guys. If you would like to purchase your very own personal reading with me. That information is going to be in the drop box below. All right, so let's talk about Libra Moon. Libra Moon. Libra Moon. Libra Moon. All right, so we have Hold Your Vision. And nothing is yet in stone. Okay, so you're very close to achieving your goal. Um, nothing is set in stone and hold your vision. Okay, so if you have a vision, you should be holding that vision. Okay, nothing is yet written in stone. So you can go back and erase, delete. You can go back and add to at this point in time. I feel like some of you guys are working towards some type of gold. Some type of gold. I said gold some type of goal and you're working towards some type of goal and you can go back at this time to edit to add add more to the pot subtract more from the pot uh, put some spices in there it's, it's, it's that time for um, adjustments okay just stick to the vision. Stick to the vision. Show me past energy. Past energy. We have adjustments are required. See, um, that's just what I just said. Adjustments are required. Like maybe you were going back and reviewing and editing. Some of you may have been seeing the number 555. Okay, so you're making some changes. And I feel like you are making the adjustments that are required okay so show me future energy for Libra moon future energy show me future energy thank you we got what do you need to release okay so you're contemplating on what needs to go okay so you're at the point where you're mixing all of these things up in the pot um and you are making the proper adjustments that need to be made and you're now looking at what needs to go what needs to be released what no longer is serving you all right so we got luck is on your side at the bottom of the deck here um and the personal issue reaches resolution so you're coming up with some type of resolution um and you're quite lucky okay some of y'all have been seeing or getting ready to see the number seven 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 eight 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 abundance and luck being on your side okay so things that you need to uh add you made the proper adjustments now you're looking at what needs to go okay so y'all mix mixing up a pot of gumbo y'all adding what needs to be there subtracting um to get the right recipe to get the right mix the right sauce okay i'm getting like <laughs> y'all i'm in, literally envisioning y'all like in the kitchen y'all got all the ingredients that you want to use um, to make this perfect gumbo, okay, and you're adding things and you're tasting it. Oh, uh, yeah, this tastes good. Or no, this is too salty. Or no, this is uh, like I'm literally getting that. But I feel like out of all of this, you're gonna come out with a great pot of gumbo. All right. So let's talk about uh, present energy right now. Let's see what message we have for you presently. Okay. So, I have differences, all right, differences. And then we got cycles here at the bottom of the deck, okay? So, let's look at past energy. 
Show me past energy for Libra Moon, please. Past energy. Past energy. Past energy. Past. Okay. Uh, we have letting go. See, you let go of um <laughs> you let go of something. Um I'm getting listening and playful. You were listening to something. Like you had your you, you was zoomed in um to something, maybe being a little playful, but you need you made some adjustments. Like you made the adjustments that you needed to let something go. Okay, so future energy. Um we have the moon, the moon, okay, so yeah, full moon energy, um, I feel like you guys, I'm getting cycles, like, you guys are utilizing the moon, um, to get this perfect, dope thing started, um, there's something that you could be working on, and you're utilizing the moon, um, the cycles of the moon to manifest what it is that you want into your life, okay, so, I have, yeah, we have vision, okay, fulfillment and vision and fragment, okay, I'm getting like some of y'all are uh, working on an altar, I'm seeing that as well, like you're adding, for some of you, this is an altar, like you're, you're setting up a new altar or you want an altar, um, cause I got fulfillment, I got vision here and, and, uh, with the vision, I'm seeing like, um, spiritual like your intuition like you want spiritual guidance as well like you want spirit to to lead you and show you um what it is that you need to go like you're you're definitely using your intuition on this big pot of gumbo that you're making and i'm just using gumbo as a scenario but i'm getting like you guys are working on something big you see the bigger picture of a situation and you're you're um you're adding and subtracting and you know i feel like you're going to come out with this come out with something great okay but we did have forbidden here at the bottom of the deck um so let's get some clarifiers i want to see what's what okay so libra moon please give me clarifiers for libra moon i have here differences okay so differences why is differences here Okay, so we got the Page of Swords and the King of Wands. So you're keeping your eye on possibly a fire sign or you're watching what somebody is doing. Like you're spying on somebody. King of Wands, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, you're watching someone's actions. Um, you're possibly like comparing and, you know, comparing and contrasting. Look, at, I feel like you're looking at someone else's um, actions. There's something that you want, okay? It's something that you want. With the nine of cups, this is a wish fulfillment. We just saw that at the bottom of the deck. The queen of swords, this is you guys' this energy. So there's something that you want. There's something that you want, okay? That I feel like you're you're going to try it. But what I don't like is that I got the ten of swords here. Um, that's saying like a betrayal or an ending. But then I got you guys with the eight of pentacles and the ten of cups. Like wanting to try this. Like wanting to try something out. Wanting to try this. Okay, so let's see. Why is the King of Wands here? I feel like you got your eye on on a on someone. Okay. Lots of communications. Like somebody is speaking or you're watching somebody's page and to see what the difference is. Like you're looking like I'm getting like looking at someone's page to see what the difference is. Um you're trying to manifest here with the magician. You're manifest like you're in manifestation mode. Like you're trying to manifest something here. You're trying to manifest something here. Why is this page of one the page of pentacles here? This could be a business idea, especially with the pentacles here. Yeah, like the world, like the world is telling everyone um, or being open. Oh, so, okay. What is this? Somebody regrets having sex with someone because someone is telling, someone's talking. 
that just came out of nowhere, like literally. Somebody's talking. Um, I got the Five of Cups, the Sun, which is Leo's energy, the Devil, which is Capricorn's energy. Um, somebody's telling here. Uh, Page of Wands and the uh, Ace of Swords. Yeah, somebody's telling who they're sleeping with or who they're having sex with. Um, maybe you're watching someone. You're watching someone's actions. Okay, you're watching someone's actions here as well too. Why is the World card here? Telling everyone who you're sleeping with or, or something like that. Okay. The high priestess, Pisces, and Cancer's energy. Um, but it's like intuitively, you may know something about this person. Like, they know better. I'm getting no better with the higher fit. Someone could be married. Um, you may feel like this person's actions is very irrational. And you may want them to stop. You may want them to stop. Past energy. Past energy here. We got letting go. Why is letting go here? Yeah, you're you you were done with something. You let something go. Ten of Wands. Um a situation was very burdensome. Okay. Someone um talks a lot. Someone talks a lot. Like someone flirts a lot talks a lot to try to make people jealous with the five of swords here like someone is has like a spiteful type energy i got the star card here you could be dealing with an aquarius especially with the king of swords here as well i got the hermit card which is virgo's energy but i'm getting like some i feel like someone talks a lot um and starts drama so you decided to let something go okay you decided to let something go why is the ten of wands here yeah, the fool. So you start making progress once you cut this this situation off. Okay, so we got the seven of swords. Somebody is um, sneaky or a liar, um, and you possibly want them to regret this with the five of with the five of cups. Okay, why is the fool here? The fool is a new start as well. Got judgment that wanted to jump out. And the Queen of Wands, Seven of Wands. Someone could be very judgmental um, with the Queen of Wands and the Seven of Wands. Like someone's feeling like they have to defend themselves um, because of what they wear or because of how they carry themselves or how they look. I'm seeing that as well. But somebody's very much so paid um, and, and single and focused on themselves and their growth. But somebody, you know, here definitely has some secrets, some options, and are doing, you know, I'm getting like, uh, with the Three of Swords and the Seven of Cups and the Moon, I'm definitely getting like somebody has some hidden, uh, some things that they're keeping hidden. Could be third party situations. I'm seeing that as well. I'm getting hidden agendas as well. Why is the judgment card here? The Hierophant is Taurus's energy. The Knight of Swords is Libra Gemini's energy. Um, somebody here is reckless. And they're very much so uh, the opposite of the Hierophant. The Hierophant energy is contracts this is being in a contract this is also um very traditional and things being kept in order the knight of swords is completely the opposite so someone is like breaking the rules um someone is behaving very irrational um behavior i'm getting like very childlike energy yeah see we got the five of wands that want to jump out like i'm getting that there could have been like some uh, argument that got out of hand with the Five of Wands and the Knight of Swords. What's the Five of Wands here? Five of Swords. Somebody's very jealous and spiteful. And I'm getting that there's competition as well, too. Somebody's competing um, with others. I got the Seven of Cups and the Three of Swords. Somebody's competing with a third party. 
Why is the Five of Swords here? The Magician. Okay, somebody's manipu being manipulative. Um, and somebody's also making plans. <sighs> Somebody made some plans and didn't tell someone their plans. Okay, so you felt left out. You felt left out because somebody didn't make, didn't tell you what their plans was. Somebody felt jealous as well too. Because um, someone didn't include them in their plan. I'm getting a bunch of lies here with the Seven of Swords. Someone told a lie, and then someone's telling the truth. Okay, so I'm getting like two different, two sides of the story. We got the Queen of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. And then, um, you feel like somebody's doing something for attention, too. Let's move ahead. Because I'm getting that there's this big heavy energy of a disagreement in the past okay that could have just been hanging in the air for for a minute um and i feel like moving forward we got the moon card you could be dealing with a pisces or a cancer we got the five of pentacles okay so some of you are wanting to move on from a situation um, I got the Nine of Cups and the Six of Swords. Some of you are separating yourself. Definitely, I got the Four of Swords and the Justice card, which is you guys' energy, but this is definitely a separation. Um, and someone moving on and wanting to move. Um, but with the Five of Pentacles, this is, you know, leaving someone behind, feeling of, of rejection, leaving someone out in the cold. This is even like abandonment. Okay, so why is the Five of Pentacles here? The nine of wands, okay? I'm getting like you're telling someone to be careful. Um, King of cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Somebody's going on a new venture um, with the ace of wands and the two of cups. Like somebody's going on something new. What's the king of cups here? The ace of swords, okay? The truth. Somebody's true feelings are coming out. Somebody's true colors are coming out. Ten of Pentacles. This could be family oriented. Um, or a marriage is definitely involved. But somebody's true colors is definitely coming out. And somebody's deciding that they aren't going to come back. You're not sure if they're going to come back. Why is the Ten of Pentacles here? The moon. Okay. Queen of Wands. There's someone on the side here. I'm getting like side energy. Queen of Wands. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, and somebody getting offended. Somebody's feeling like they have to stand there, stand up to someone or stand their ground or fight. Um, you're waiting for some type of resolution or something to be um, to be balanced out. You've been patiently waiting. Why is the moon card here? Yep, but this is over. Okay, you're letting something go. You possibly feel betrayed. Okay, and I'm getting don't come back with the Ten of Swords and Six of Cups. Don't come back here. Two of Swords. Yeah, don't come back. I'm getting don't come back. Why is the Ten of Swords here? Five of Cups. Somebody feels like they're going to regret going. I got the Chariot. I got Queen of Cups. Um, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. I got the Empress motherly energy but very abundant um energy i got the knight of wands somebody's playing around here i feel like you're telling someone not to return or don't come back if they leave why is the five of cups here yeah you feel like that somebody made a bad a bad choice you feel like they're going to regret their decision to walk away. So somebody's walking away. I feel like someone could be possibly walking away from you. Or there's just some contemplating of somebody walking away. Somebody left or is leaving. Somebody's saying goodbye. You don't want this. I feel like somebody could be saying goodbye to you. 
or vice versa. But somebody does not want something or somebody doesn't like something that somebody said. Okay, because we got the Queen of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Eight of Wands. Somebody is, you know, something that somebody said that you didn't like. Okay. Um, you're letting go of something. Something, some, you're letting go of something or someone. Someone has to go. You feel like they're going to regret their decision, though. You feel like somebody's going to regret their decision. Yeah, we got the Empress. I feel like because there's other options here. I feel like there's other options. And somebody, you could be trying to hold somebody or keep somebody, keep somebody, uh, like keep a hold on somebody. Why is the Empress here? But somebody is moving on. Six of Swords. Somebody's ready to go. Okay. And, and it's because they have a, another connection possibly with the Two of Cups. And somebody uh, needs some space. I'm getting give me my space. Six of Pentacles and the Hermit. Okay. So somebody needs some space. But I feel like you're feeling like this isn't it's not going to work. Okay, so you guys let me know what's going on in the comment section below. This was kind of a heavy hit. All right, so y'all let me know what's going on in the comment section below, and I'll chat with y'all later.